Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan and the Vice President. Well, thank you very much, and all of us welcome you here to the White House. I see that some of you are a little ahead of us about getting dressed for tonight, so you'll forgive us if we slip away real soon so that we can get into our penguin suits, too. Well, special thanks must go to Drew Lewis and Ted Welch, who've done a sterling job as dinner chairman and vice chairman. This is the third time Drew has been chairman, and each time he's beaten his previous record. But I guess the people we really got to thank for making this a banner year are all of you. Your hard work, your generosity, and dedication, we're well prepared, thanks to that, for the, for the coming battles. And I don't have to tell you how crucial these coming elections are. 86 will decide just how permanent all our accomplishments of the last six years will be. This is the election that will either carry us on in triumph to the future or begin the slow dismantling of America at the hands of the Democrats. As I'm going to point out in my speech tonight, so this one will be very short, you're not going to have to listen to two big speeches. <laughs> if anyone has any doubt about the direction a Democratic majority in both houses of Congress would take us, if they think the Democrats have learned anything these last six years, then all they have to do is look at the recent budget and trade bills produced by the House of Representatives or look at the House leadership's shameful handling of the aid vote to the Nicaraguan freedom fighters. But I think the American people know where the other party still stands. And that's why we're not only going to keep control of the Senate, but increase our representation in the House. My father once told me that being optimistic is part of my Irish heritage. And you know that that leads to a story. <laughs> And if you've heard it before, you have to realize that life not only begins at 40, but so does the tendency to tell stories over and over again. But this is about the little tad that was bandaged all the way from here to the tips of his toes, couldn't move a muscle, was suing for $4 million, a result of an accident. And he won the suit. And the lawyers for the other side, for the insurance company, went over to him and they said, you're not going to enjoy a penny of this. We know you're faking. We're going to be following you 24 hours a day, and the first time you move, we'll have you. And he said, will you now? Well, he said, let me tell you what's going to happen to me. He said, in a few minutes, they're coming in with a the stretcher. They're taking me out in the stretcher. Downstairs, they're putting me in an ambulance. The ambulance is driving to Kennedy Airport, and there they're putting me on an airplane, and we're going to Paris, France. They're taking me off the plane on the stretcher in Paris, France, putting me in another ambulance, we're driving straight to the Shrine of Lourdes, and there you're going to see the greatest miracle you ever saw. <laughs> well, I think this is kind of a miracle, too. With Here again, we've set a new record with regard to this particular evening, and that's enough from me for now. And, and George and I will be talking to you when we get there. And uh, we thank you all from the bottom of our hearts. And. Uh, We'll all see you at dinner this evening. And until then, God bless you. Have some fun. Thank you.